Did you know that one of Leonardo da Vinci's inventions was scuba gear? Over 500 years ago, at a time when people still believed the Earth was flat and that sea monsters inhabited the edge of the oceans, da Vinci devised an apparatus that would allow divers to breathe underwater. Da Vinci's design for scuba gear involved a watertight leather tunic with cane tubes that would come from the diver's mask up to a floating cork buoy where they would literally suck in air to breathe. Here to tell us a little bit more about modern scuba gear are our friends from the Newport Aquarium. So I'm here with John. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And Elsie. Nice to meet you. Thanks so much for having us. So the best way to talk about modern scuba is to look at the gear itself, right? That's right. All right. So uh, what do you say? Let's dive in. Let's get in and get wet. What is most important for any scuba diver is how we actually going to breathe underwater. Mm -hmm. So, like you said, we don't see any big floating cork buoys or anything like that. But what you do have is a cylinder that's filled with air, and that's how the divers are able to breathe. Okay. Now, um, substituting those cane tubes, what we actually have are rubber hoses that are actually able to help supply air from the cylinder to the regulator to the diver. So all you simply have to do is uh, take a couple breaths off the regulator and you're good to go. But Da Vinci also had another solution. He had a valve and kind of an airbag within the mask mm -hmm. uh, that the diver could breathe into and, and inflate and, uh, or release a valve and deflate mm -hmm. uh, to kind of help them with that buoyancy. Do we have anything like that today? Yes, with a power inflator. So the way this works is this actually has another rubber tube connected to the cylinder of air. And what you're able to do is press this great button and that's going to add air to your BCD. And they're able to make the diver go up in the water column and make them positively buoyant. Now if the diver had to go down, lift up that, okay. and then kind of press your great button there. And that's going to help deflate this um, air in the BCD and make the diver negatively buoyant. In Vinci's day, his, in his mind, uh, scuba divers would repair the holes of ships. We don't see a lot of that today. So what are you guys actually using scuba gear for? Well, the most common use for a scuba is going to be recreational. People going on vacation and swimming reefs, things like that. Um, but the military does use scuba as well. Uh, there's also underwater welders. Uh, lots of scientists are scuba divers as well. So there's the coral restoration where they will go and plant coral. Um, and also studying as well. So what do you guys do here at the Newport Aquarium? I'm a dive safety officer, so my responsibility is to make sure that all the volunteer divers that are in the water are being safe, and they will do things like general maintenance of uh, cleaning the rock work, the windows, um, also helping to feed in some of the tanks, and then we do dive shows as well, where divers get into the tank and are able to talk to the guests about the animals that are in there. All right, so we learned a lot about modern scuba gear and Da Vinci's invention, but if you want to learn more, you can visit Da Vinci the Genius at Cincinnati Museum Center. And if you want to see scuba in action, you can come here and visit our friends at the Newport Aquarium. Thank you so much, LC, and thank you to our friends at the Newport Aquarium.